Lifestyle TV and it's Peter Detoy with your story behind the Sia Gaboza. George Labisi. The Sia crew broke the story of George Labisi beating up his girlfriend and malicious damage to property. Now that's a fact. We know the story he's handed himself over. The big question is what's going to happen next? If American football clubs have actually banned a player and had him kicked out of the club for this type of behavior. The question is will Kaiser Chiefs do the same thing and can they? And then you've got to stick something else into the equation that his contract is coming to an end at the end of the season. As far as we know, Chiefs have not renewed that as yet. Let's look at the scenarios. Will Chiefs do anything or will they take maybe possibly the easy route out and say it's not a football matter, this is a matter to do with the courts? The second option, Kaiser Chiefs may say we don't condone this kind of behavior and we will take action against our player for this kind of behavior and look also at some kind of rehabilitation. Then there's an added fact, his contract runs out at the end of the season and if Chiefs fine him or take action, he may not want to sign a new contract. We know Sundowns have always been sniffing with that player as well. So it's not that simple. The real thing is George Lebisi has put Kaiser Chiefs in a bad light and George Lebisi has put Kaiser Chiefs in a position where they are a no winner really. If they don't take action, they lose. If they take action, they lose to a certain extent as well. George Lebisi, you've put yourself and Kaiser Chiefs and South African football in a bad light and you need to sort this out. Watch this back.